Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, I had already shown you how you can take the backup of your database using pg restore command and psql command that is using the command prompts. Okay, and I had also covered how we can do using pg admin tool also. So in this video, I will show you how you can take the backup of your database using pg dump and pg dump all commands using command prompts. The taking backup of your databases, this operation we have already covered that we can do it using pg admin tool. But in this video, I will show you how we can do through do it through the command prompts. OK, so for that we have two options. I will cover all those options and also I will show you how to take backup of a tape archive file that is dot tar file and backup file that is dot bak file. SQL file that is the plain file dot uh, SQL format and also I'll show you how you can take the backup as a directory okay so now let's uh, first connect to the database localhost and the database name is Postgres port number is default 5432 and username is also Postgres and the password for, for the Postgres user okay so now we are connected to the Postgres database. Now to see what are the databases available, uh, I can show you. Okay, we have DVD rental databases, and the same we can confirm through using PG admin tool as well. Okay, so now let's. Uh, this is the PSQL that uh, I had already connected. Now what I'll do, I'll open the command prompt, cmd. Then I had. As I had already shown you, we need to go to that location where our Postgres is installed. For me, it is in this location. So I need to go to there first. Then CD bin folder. Okay. So within this folder, we I have all my inst uh, the executables. I can show you th that also. Just open this okay so if i show you pg dump for this process i need pg dump okay so pg dump is here and also pg dump all option is also here so th that's why i need to open the command prompt and go to this location first okay so i'm here already now the command is uh, let's uh, first i'll show you how to uh, take backup of our postgresql database from the server as tape archive file okay i'll cover all the file types tape archive files i'll cover the backup file i'll cover the dot sql file and also i'll cover the directory options so let's um, start with the tape archive file so this is the command pg dump then hyphen h for look uh, the host name for me it is localhost it can be different for you for you can it can be any ip address or it can be any url so you need to do that accordingly and hyphen d for the database for me database is dvd rental it can be your own database name and hyphen u for the user for me user is postgres and hyphen p for port number 5432 is the port number on which my server is running and uh, the important parameter is hyphen uppercase f this is for the file format okay so uh, after space we need to give the tar or simply t also works but for simplicity i'll give tar tar for a tape archive file okay so now after this we need to specify the output location so use this symbol and then for output what i'll do i'll keep all the backups in this location so just copy this location similarly you can take any uh, folder location on your pc so for me i'm putting all the files here so this location and then the file name dvd rental uh, bkp.tr okay so this is the command that i have uh, put for taking the database backup as tr using command prompt or pg dump command so enter so it asked me the password for the user the password you should entry enter for this user so postgres user password i have already provided now press enter so in no time it will create the backup 
okay so if i show you here in my location the backup is created okay so this was the option for tape archive file so now the same thing uh, all the commands is same but the next option i'll show you how to take backup for uh, custom file that is that uh, back dot bak file so in the file format option the hyphen f that is the capital f and you need to remember that hyphen lowercase f option is also there that is for the file name so to avoid the confusion i'm using this uh, symbol okay so i have mentioned here that uh, custom file the file format should be custom that is uh, i can mention the file format of backup okay now again i need to provide the password for it and okay so it is done let's check here okay the database is backed up as dot bak file here okay so it is also done so next option i'll show you how to take backup of this as sql file so we need to just change this file format command and we need to provide the plane okay plane is for the plain sql uh, text format so accordingly we need to provide change this name also file format uh, the extension of the file so dot sql and press enter provide the password of postgres user then enter okay so now let's go to file location this is the sql file that is already created okay so the database backup is being created as dot sql that is the sql file okay so now uh, uh, these three options are uh, done now i will show you how to take the backup of uh, backup as a directory okay so for that you need to change the format here format will be directory okay and uh, unless the file name we need to provide the uh, directory name here okay and for directory we cannot uh, do like this so for that i need to mean mention specifically lowercase f that uh, which one i was avoiding as of now but i need to provide here that one okay and here i need to provide a directory name which is the blank directory so for that i had already created uh, this one so i'll provide this location okay so remember this thing whenever you are taking backup of your database server database from the server so if you are taking the backup as a directory so give a directory name directory location which is blank okay if i show you i had given this location and the directory underscore bkp so this directory is directory is blank there is no file in this directory okay now let's go here and also we need to specify uh, hyphen lowercase f this parameter we need to uh, show here and then provide the password for the postgres user okay so now let's go okay so this is the direct uh, this is the backup that is created now as a uh, uh, database backup when I had chosen the option of direct backup okay and uh, if suppose you don't have this back directory created blank directory created so it will give you error that uh, we cannot take the backup okay so first you need to provide uh, the blank directory first okay so these were all all the options of pg dump then we also have option of pg dump all dump all does what dump all command will take the backup of all the databases on your server okay so here if i show you uh, from here also i can show you we have mainly two databases dvd rental and postgres okay in postgres i have two tables only so this is very uh, like with less data but if you have a bigger data then you can see that that all the databases are backed up in one file okay so let me show you with one option let's say uh, this pg dump all command is also similar to pg dump okay just change this one pg dump all then host name is this local host and as we know that it will take backup of all the databases so this parameter hyphen d is not relevant anymore okay so hyphen u is for user that is okay port number 5432 is also fine and the file format is no need to mention i'll take the backup as sql file 
so i'll remove this one and i'll keep only this one say this and let me provide that one also okay here i had created this directory okay so i have provided it what will okay and also i need to provide the file name here db say db db all okay dot sql file as i am taking the directory the backup as sql file so i need to mention the file name press enter and provide the password for the postgres user and enter okay okay so now i have provided the correct password and let's see okay so now this file is created with the all the databases in this folder so this way we can take the backup of our postgresql databases from server to our uh, local machine or anywhere in the server location you just you just need to mention the location accordingly so these are the ways we can take the backup using pg dump and pg dump all options and there are many parameters to cover so probably we i'll cover that thing in the next video so please subscribe my channel to get the notifi notifications and if this video was helpful to you please do like the video and let's meet in the next video with an another topic till then take care bye bye